Hey, I've got a phenomenal word for you. So if you're ready to be encouraged and lifted up, then you need to watch this video, like it, and share. Hey there, this is Ken with ShareStory.net, and we are here at legendary Coity Castle in South Wales, in a region that is mystically called the Glamorgan. Man, the Welsh, they really know how to name their regions. People have been here a long time, and they've left quite the mark. In other words, the history nerd like me has plenty to do around here, especially when I'm trying to keep up with my kids. <laughs> and we're at Coity Castle, but around 900 years ago by Sir Payne the Demon de Tuberville. Now you have to love the name some of these guys have been given over the years. The Welsh don't play when it comes to painting their foes with the appropriate brush. Throughout the country of Wales, several marcher lordships were quickly established in the decades immediately after the Norman conquest of 1066. Rewarded by William the Conqueror for their loyal service, the marcher lords became powerful men and erected stone fortifications to control their portions of their newly acquired kingdoms. One of the marcher lords, Fitzhamon, the Lord of Gloucester, distributed his land to the legendary 12 Knights of Glamorgan, who each were counted on to subdue and tax their newly conquested people. You know, the Kingdom of Glamorgan quickly became known as a trouble spot in Wales, subject to uprisings and revolts. You know, people don't like to be conquered. And by the 1400s, the castle was substantially altered, and most of what remains now dates to that time. Coity Castle has survived besiegement, being passed about to multiple heirs, being fought over by multiple heirs, and now stands as a beautiful ruin to a past filled with bloodshed, but also peace and stability. Now it's open to the public. Children and pets run about and play on the old fortifications that were once manned by archers and defenders. And what was once a great hall filled with invaders now stands as a ruin that welcomes visitors. So as I'm here, watching my two-year-old boy exploring these incredible and massive ruins. I'm thinking of the strongholds that invaders at one time built within my own heart. You know, castles of stone that enemies placed within me that they used as a launching point to attack areas of my physical and spiritual life. You know, I'm thinking of what the Lord has done in my own life, of these areas of pain that I allowed to become strongholds, uh, you know, offense, anger, assumption, rejection, blame, shame, fear. I mean, that's a big one. You know, all of these places which, when they are given territory in your heart, they won't just let go. And once established, they set about besieging the rest of you. You know, thankfully, I had the miraculous chance of meeting an incredible redeemer, you know, a man that is more than just a conqueror a God of love who didn't judge me based on my failures or where I fell short, but judges me based on the price that he paid for me, which is a price for which he paid everything. Because if the value of something is established by the price that is paid for it, heaven paid the ultimate price for me and for you. That's the crazy thing about all of this. If you only knew Man, if you just knew how much he loves you and he wants to take all that garbage away, the pain, the shame, the rejection, the feeling of never measuring up, how he wants to knock down those castles of pain that have been built up in your own heart by an invading force, and how he wants to establish bright white spires of peace right in their place. It's a peace only a Prince of Peace can give. Just like he did in me, he can turn those old castles of pain to the playgrounds of your future generations. Just like this guy right down here. All you have to do is open that gate to him. The choice is always yours. This is Ken with ShareStory.net. And if you like this video or want to see more of them, check us out at ShareStory.net and subscribe. You can also find us on YouTube, Facebook, so make sure you share and like this video. The Christian life was designed to be an adventure. Don't let it pass you by.